This airplane has never been flown at full throttle for more than 30 seconds. Because it, at full throttle, it'll eventually the aircraft will just melt. And the thing controls the throttle is the skin temperature of the airplane. Wow. They, they, you know, that's, their, that's their setting for power, the skin temperature. 450 degrees, I think, it's skin temperature. It's an amazing, this thing was designed on a piece of butcher paper, the whole theory of it. Incredible. So what's so special about this particular engine, other than this? The, the, the thrust of this engine, 70% of it, is the expanding shock wave. There's a cone that moves in and out of the engine. You'll see it maybe on the other side. Well, there it is up there. Oh, that thing, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But this engine, <coughs> this engine has been taken out. This okay. This engine fits up in there. But the, that traps the shock wave, and the shock wave goes around the engine, and the air expands in the ducts, and that creates the thrust of the, of the hmm. engine. Only 30% is created by actual fuel burning. Yeah. Oh, it's it's really guys. clever. And this is you know, from the 1960s, so. Oh, yeah, designed with a slide rule. And it, if hmm. if the programming on that duct on that no. gets screwed up, and the shock wave moves out of the duct where it expands, the engine instantly loses 70 percent of its thrust. And at Mach 3 plus 80,000 plus, the aircraft, if they don't do something instantly, hmm. swerves and self-destructs. And oh they lost God. several of them. One, of them. one guy survived an unstart and destruction. And so the solution was. They monitor that, and any yaw greater than a certain amount shuts down the other engine instantly. And they stop uh, it. And then they glide down. And they restart. <laughs> and get it all restarted, everything back to... <laughs> Pretty amazing. Man, that's amazing. Now, these pieces don't move. These are stators. Right. Why aren't all jet engines have a stator like that, so that if a bird hits it, no, it gets all, the, all engines do. do have it. No. Is, yeah, they do. They all do. What you're looking at is the fan on the, the front. The fan, the fan front, yeah. But this is not a fan. This is a turbojet engine. This engine doesn't have any fan. Oh. Um, and the, I don't know. So all the turbines are protected. They're not protected. All, they, all that does is yeah. straighten out the airflow, so yeah. the air flows in straight. But I'm saying if a bird hits it, that's all. I'm well, just thinking about the bird hitting it. I wouldn't do that. Bird, bird, well, that's bird. what you want. But you'd, I'd rather have it hit the non-moving part than the moving part. Well, it's going to hit everything it's, instantly. It's not going to make any difference, you think? Well, yeah. It, it depends on how big the bird is. It seems to me if you have it cut in half before it gets to the blades. The <laughs> geese, I don't know. If, did anybody yeah. ask uh, Jeff Skiles if those engines would have run? I think that when they examined the engines, they found there was no problem with the engines. It had to do with the sensors in the computer. Oh, really? Yeah. Those geese that flew in that engine. Yeah. Was, Is this the cone now that moves yeah. in and out? No, he said that the uh, the thing that puts the fuel in was, was broken off. Yeah. That's what he told us I yesterday. Now that's the thing I showed you. I don't think it's not the bypass of that portion. It's also down this thing. So the further you move that in, the less airflow it gets. Well, it's, it's, it controls the shock wave. Mm -hmm. It controls the shock wave. So when the plane is flying supersonic, there's a shock wave that comes out. And that shock wave, the air's got to get to become subsonic going through the engine for it to work. And so as it expands in there, they actually put it to work and they expand it around its it bypass duct. Oh, I see. They turn that kinetic energy into or that expanding air into kinetic energy. I see. Huh. Interesting. It's an amazing airplane. That is kind of. Who, who would have thought of that? You know? So there's no turbofan. It's all turbojet. Well, turbojet, but augmented by this. We'll put it together because we'll put a chocolate in the airspace. Yeah. Get the airplane here. We had a couple of wings in half. Yeah, it wouldn't fly. So we cut the wings off. Now we 